Hi there beautiful souls and welcome, welcome back to Kutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I'm here with another reading for you. We are going to be using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, I couldn't remember the name of it for a second then, um, to start out this reading. I've got a few cards out already, we've got Emotionally Withdrawn and we've also got Wish Fulfillment here, okay, so quite a transition in energy at the moment. We've also got the Truth card at the bottom of the deck at the moment, okay, and this is the Judgment in the traditional deck. So for some of you, okay, you could be at the moment feeling a little bit lost in regards to your emotions, but I do feel, okay, it's kind of serving a purpose. There could have been something, okay, that you've had to release in the near um, past year, okay, or even in the distant past, okay, that is still playing on your mind here, but you're about to see the reason why is what I'm getting here. So something different, something new on the horizon here for you, like I say, quite a con trust in energy here i feel there is a lot going on within your heart space as well at this time for some of you you could be trying to find that point of balance okay after perhaps um, a challenging time here um, where you've had to kind of go within your cave okay um, i also feel for a lot of you you've been doing a lot of self-reflection a lot of work on yourself you could have been putting a lot of time and effort into projects okay or something within your career here as well that's about to pay off for you it is the idea though as the card suggests of a wish fulfillment here for you it's also interesting, we've got card number eight and we've got card number nine here. So one step at a time, okay? Um, little steps in the right direction. Don't put too much pressure on yourselves. Um, just allow yourself, okay, the time and space that you need to make this transition is something that's coming through here. I've also gotten the message, okay? Is not to doubt the happiness that is about to be brought to you. For some of you, okay, just the idea of happiness or this um, wish fulfillment when it arrives, it might even be a little bit, oh, what do I do with it now that it's here for me? Just know that you are totally worthy and deserving of this beautiful blessing being brought to you. We've got the financial and material changes here. For so a lot of you here, okay, this is speaking about finances. It is speaking about your career, something paying off in that area for you. You could be coming from a very challenging time in regards to your finances, okay? And now all of a sudden, things are finally working out in your favour. Bottom of the deck, I can't help but notice, we've got the Triumph card here, or the Chariot in the traditional deck. And we've got five here, now we've got a seven. Those numbers again could be significant. So I feel this is a swift move for some of you here. Here with the throat chakra here again, a number five. These fives are indicating big changes that are occurring for you right now. They could feel quite unpleasant, okay? They might not feel um, wonderful for you. Could even be causing a little bit of conflict within you. But it is ultimately serving a beautiful purpose of setting you off on this journey, okay? Where it is going to be very abundant space for you. It is um, definitely bringing a lot of changes here for you. There is this idea, okay, as well, about speaking your truth, being very... Um, honest and open when you're putting your manifestations out there to the universe okay because i do feel as i say this is playing a powerful part you are the de uh, master of your own destiny is what i'm hearing here and you could be awakening and realizing this um to your full potential is something else that's coming through here sorry i just moved the camera slightly just because i realized you couldn't see the cards properly let's get some more we've got the third eye chakra with number six here I'm definitely getting this vibe of one step at a time, not feeling the need, okay, to rush ahead here. With this third eye chakra, okay, you could certainly be dreaming or having visions, okay, of where you see your life in X amount of time is something that's coming through here. You are very aligned, though, with the universe, with your spirit guides, okay, with your higher self. There could also be an awakening within the third eye chakra here, okay, a lot going on there for you. I'm also getting, okay, the more confidence you gain within your own intuition, within your own, you know, within your own visions, then your ability to speak your truth, your ability to um, come from a place of truth and honesty becomes easier for you, you, for you to step into your more authentic self. And I am struggling a little bit with my words, so that could be the case for you. Perhaps you're stumbling right now to explain exactly how you feel or what's going on, particularly if you are going through some kind of a spiritual awakening here. Let's get one more from this deck for you and we're going to get some, oh, we've got two other cards as well. We've got Solitude with card number nine or the Hermit in the traditional deck and we've got Transformation, the Death card in the traditional deck, nothing to worry about there with card number 13. Bottom of the deck, we've got Heartache and Loss 
and we've also got intuition like i was just saying your intuition is absolutely on fire and i do feel okay this transformation for many of you has occurred from a situation that probably has brought a lot of pain a lot of difficulty and i just want to say a massive well done for this transition okay the journey you're on right now you really are um you're not allowing it to destroy you is something I'm hearing here. And you could have quite easily have allowed it to do that, but you're not allowing that to be the case. And this transition, this transformation that's coming up for you, okay, it is something, okay, that you're soon going to be feeling very empowered as a result of. You're coming from a time of difficulty, a time of challenge, a time of heartache, okay, which has been really yucky and horrible, maybe feeling this need to go within, okay, but you're now relighting that fire within you, which is absolutely beautiful. Let's now get some tea leaf oracle cards for you. I've got to shuffle these in two separate piles, well, that's way too many, um, because it's such a big deck and I can't hold it all. So let's just get one or two of these. These seem to want to come out. We've got heart here. And it says love, deep affection and caring. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got mountain rose. You are on the road to success. Again, mirroring that message, okay? I do feel, okay, there is a lot going on with the heart space, okay? Um, and I do feel, okay, like I say, this transition itself has come from a heartache. And you're soon going to be feeling, okay, that passion that you once felt. I also feel for some of you, okay, this could be speaking about a relationship that is on its way in for you. We've also got your apple with temptation will test you. So Adam or Eve, okay, those names could mean something to some of you here. But with this apple, okay, don't be tempted to lower your standards. As you're going through this transition, as you're rising up in energy, don't feel the need to hold on to the people, the places or the situations, okay, that are no longer serving you. This beautiful brand new version of yourself, okay? You've put a lot of work, a lot of effort into yourself, into rebuilding yourself, okay? Not everyone deserves that energy is the message that's coming through here. Let's get a couple more. I left this one behind. We have got casket, someone going out of your life, the end of a situation. So again, I want to say, okay, for some of you, this has been triggered by some kind of an ending, perhaps in a love situation, okay, um, that has actually triggered this. And again, it's this energy of releasing things from the past that are no longer serving us. We also have the moon with changes in your life. Some massive changes coming up here, okay? Things might have been a bit cloudy, okay? The moon illuminates the darkness. It could also be speaking about some of your fears or your doubts coming to the surface here, okay, that you are currently working through. The next full moon could be very um, significant for some of you as well. At the bottom of this deck, we've got cobweb protection from negative forces beyond your control absolutely beautiful you are divinely protected divinely guided my beautiful ones let us now get you an animal oracle spirit just to close out this reading which animal spirit is working with you at this time as you go through this huge transformation and again i just want to say a massive well done because you're you're on fire and I'm sure, okay, you are the one who's kind of walked through the fire, okay, and you're going to be coming out carrying the buckets of water to help those, okay, going through tough, difficult situations. And I've just gone really goosebumpy, and that is one of my signs. We've got 66 here with trust in the magic white raven spirit. So ravens, or white ravens in particular, okay, could be significant for some of you here. Again, number 66. And I do feel, okay, there is this energy here, okay, about balance being restored for you. Trusting in your own inner magic, okay, is helping you. And like I said earlier, perhaps realising you are the master of your own destiny and really having that empowerment to move forward. And also trusting, okay, in the divine detours. Trusting the universe has always got your back. We've also got you with time to dive deep with Swan Spirit, card number 60. Six again could be significant for you. We do now have 666 six, six here. So with that, there is this idea of perhaps refocusing, okay, your energy, shifting your energy, shifting your mindset. And I do feel that's definitely occurring here for you, as well as this deep dive within yourself, okay, that is really serving you well. You put a lot of time and effort into yourself, into situations here, okay, that are going to be paying off for you. And there is this idea of patterns from the past finally being closed out. So this beautiful new cycle can open out here for you. So that's what I've got for you, my lovelies. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.